The environment is one of the major challenges for the railway industry. Therefore, Favely Transport develops innovative solutions paving the way towards more eco-friendly systems. Even though latest European legislation does not ban the refrigerants actually used in railway, we are committed in working on natural refrigerants to offer an alternative to our customers. Work on CO2 as natural refrigerants since the mid-1990s. And we as Favely Transport are committed to provide the most eco-friendly HVAC solution. We know that the future for also of the HVAC will change. Uh, back in uh, 2015, we got an invitation from uh, Sintef. Sintef is a research company here in Norway. They have been uh, in contact with Favely and they want to start a project with CO2 on trains. We work together with the NSB uh, as an operator and the University of Trondheim on the first unit, uh, which is now in trial. We also have uh, flirt trains from Stadler, uh, where uh, Favely proposed to change the HVAC unit with uh, CO2. The major challenges on CO2 were clearly to deal with the working pressure. CO2 is uh, at 120 bar, so that means we have five times higher pressure inside of the circuit. And for uh, guaranteeing the same safety, the same stiffness, the same lifetime for these components, this was quite a hard job to find the, the right components to fulfill these requirements. Uh, we installed one unit back in 2017 the, in the summertime, and we have run this unit now no for almost one year. Favely have compared the units, and the result is uh, very good. After this test, we are confident that we can uh, ask for the possibility to have CO2 on the HVAC on the new trains. We are convinced that CO2 offers a solution with long-term reliability and long-term availability to the market. And the tests we're actually conducting in Norway for almost a year now help us ensuring that the solution we are offering to the market is as reliable as the conventional solutions we have on the market today. As a conclusion, WAPTEC as market leader for air conditioning system in the railway industry, of course, is working on all possible alternative technologies to these chemical refrigerants, not only the so-called natural one, but also some other chemical ones with some safety issues that we are working on to avoid any incident in the trains.